Hi, I'm Professor Lusheen. I'd like to take the next few minutes to talk about some great opportunities afforded to our safety students to advance your careers. First is the Student Safety Organization, for which I'm the faculty advisor. The second is the American Society of Safety Professionals, for which I'm the faculty liaison. The Student Safety Organization meets about once a month. We have either guest speakers, we have tours, we participate in webinars. Mostly it's for expanding your professional network and finding more opportunities for internships. Did you know that at the end of each capstone internship, we get a thorough review from the site supervisor? And what we're hearing more and more of is that students lack professionalism, they lack confidence, and that they wish the student had more applied knowledge, more practice before they got into the internship. And so as a faculty or as a department, what we want is to provide you with these extracurricular opportunities, but you gotta take them. Also, we need volunteers. We need volunteer leaders. Um, it's only a few hours a month, but we'll meet every couple of weeks to talk about who should we, we should bring in for speakers, planning maybe an alumni event. There's a lot of opportunity here, but I need you to help me out. The American Society of Safety Professionals is a different entity, but it's we tend to kind of think of them as the same thing. In order to join, it's $15 per year. Go to the ASSP website. I'll provide you the link. Go into membership, sign up for apply online. Uh, while you are in there, if you would please enter the code 212 STF, and I'm sorry, S T U R E F, and do that before November 15th, we'll get our name thrown into a bowl and then they draw out and you can win prizes and money. If you need a member number or faculty advisor number, my ASSP number is 35800. I appreciate that. Did you know that we're part of Region 5? Region 5, and I'm also the vice president of Region 5. <laughs> I hold a lot of titles. What am I doing? Um, there are 15 chapters in Region 5, and you can see it, it covers this whole region here, the upper Midwest. Uh, we also have 11 student sections. Uh, you can see that the, the white balls are the chapters where they're located. The stars are approximately where the student chapters are located. One of my things as vice president for the region is I want to combine or collaborate all the different student sections and all the faculty advisors. What I think that'll do is it'll give us access to more speakers. It will hear about more opportunities. We'll learn from other sections that maybe have, you know, have hit the ground running. Um, also, uh, it'll give you more opportunities to network with people who are gonna be your peers in the future. So I think there's gonna be some great things this year when it comes to both SSO and ASSP. So what I need you to do, if you're interested, is, is sign up. I just need to know who to send this information to. We're planning to have our first meeting on Tuesday, September 21st in the afternoon. We will likely have it in the uh, safety or IH lab of the CEC building, but we're not sure yet. And we're still uh, zeroing in on a certain speaker that we're gonna have. If you're off campus, we're still gonna try to broadcast it live. Uh, we'll also try to record it for those who can't make it. But if you can make it, um, that's even better. Again, if you want to volunteer as a leader, uh, we already have a president, we may already have a secretary, but we need freshmen and sophomores who want to be mentored and developed in order to really uh, create a better community here at UW-Whitewater. And through you and through bringing in more and more speakers and have them meeting you, I think we'll create a lot more opportunities. It's just a win-win situation. So please sign up, reach out to me if you have any questions.